Te nā koutou katoa, nau mai anō ki hunting o te aroa. Hei tēnei wiki tātou ke te tua whenua wa Hitreiria, ke te kaingo taku matua a tiku maika me tōna whānau. Ka taka hi haere mātou, kuri noa i ngā whenua koraha o tua whenua. Nō reira, kia rite mai, he hōtaka whakahi hiko i te ngākau, hei te haere. Tēnei wiki, ka haere ki Kondoblin, te kaumārua haora ki waho o poi hākina. E te iwi, ko tai mai tātou ki te whunua moi moia o Ahitareria, ka tūtaki tātou ki e te hifānau Māori me te tangata whenua hoki. Nā reira nau mai, hara mai, whakapiri mai. Koine te tuawha me te whakamutunga hoki o ngā hōtaka ki tēnei whunua ātāhua o Ahitareria. Te mutunga kē mai o te ātāhua. Engari, i mua i te aruaru, ka hoki anō tātou ki poi hākina, ki reira tūtaki atu ki taku matua kē kē ki ātiki. Kē te hui te whānau a matua, a, ka tuku pōhiri mai ki a mātou, ko aku hoa mahi ki a tai a tīna nātu. Anō nei, kē te kainga tonu mātou i te mea, kē te kaha te whanaunga tanga ki wāinga e nei, kē tā wahi e noho ana. Beautiful, eh? Kua kangaru kē ta mita a etahi, engari, kei reira tonu te wairua katakata Māori, pēnei i te kōrero katakata a tēnei. I've got a dog that'll grab 200 pound, a couple of seconds is all over. This fellow goes, yeah, yeah, we'll bring your dog and I'll bring mine and let them have a fight. Okay, so on the day. Follow they both, you know, here is dog, here is dog. <coughs> this other fellow had his dog in the cage. The fellow let his one go. And he says to the other fellow, go on, let yours out. And uh, the fellow lets his dog out, opens the cage, let it out. Boom, 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 big fight. A couple of seconds it was all over. The fellow's dog was lying there dead. The fellow goes, hey, what did you say their breed of their dog was? Oh, a hard-nosed river whoopet. Fucking look like a fucking crocodile to me. Te hā te kēhi hoki o enei. Tēnā, me hau tika atu ki ngā mahi tūturu. Hey, Dee, we have just arrived in uh, the great land of Ahitreidia, otherwise known as uh, Aotearoa Tuarua, and I'm here with one of my uncles from uh, Rotorua. Uncle Dickie, kia rango. Ah, kia ora, kia ora. Good to be here, good to be here. Ah, no mai hana mai ki ahi te reidi. Thank you. Kia ora koe. So what's our plan for... Uh... Well, we start from here, and then we go... Uh, we go up through the Blue Mountains, and then from there, we uh, go out to, to Kondobolin, and we stop there, and then straight to, to our hunting grounds. And how long is this trip going to take? Well, to our final destination, is going to take us eight hours. Eight hours? Yeah. That's the way we are here. That's how far we... You know, Any helicopters the going up there? Uh, no, I might no, meet no. you up there. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had one. And all the boys over here part of a hunting club? Yep, yeah. They're, they're part of the New South Wales Canine Hunting Association. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a flash name for a hunting club. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> and uh, the majority are all Māoris. Yeah. And hopefully we're going to catch something up there. What well, we, hopefully, mate. What are we uh, looking for up there? Well, what we're looking for is uh, wild pig, yep. goats, yep. and uh, well, just mainly those species. And well, when we get up a bit closer, then uh, we'll see what we can, you know, come across. Hey, it might be a few deer in there. I don't know, but um, oh well, we'll see when we get there. Okay, I think the boys are ready. Eh? We all ready to go, bro? Yep. We're out of here, boys. Okay. 
Ka timata te hairere waru haora te roa, engari ka oti i roto i te te kaumārua haora. Hmm, kua rere kē pē tēnei mea te wā Māori ki tēnei whenua. Kia ora, Joe. Hey. Joe, this is... Uh, Kia ora, mate. How are you? Howie. Howie. This uh, Joe is, a, is a, a, one of the local hunters. And uh, I'm uh, Condobolin, and um, well, he's going to uh, he's going to let us uh, use his camp, you know, for the night for the next couple of days. And uh, you know, he's a good hunter, Uncle. Oh, he's good. He's pretty good. You gonna take yourself for a bit of a hunt, mate? Oh, not tonight. Tomorrow, maybe. Oh, okay. Gotta go look at brother. Go and walk about. Is that right? <laughs> oh, thank you, mate. We'll just pitch our tent up over here. Eh? No worries. And then I'll make sure your uncle's comfortable and then I'll head back into the hotel in town. No worries. Sweet this. Sweet. Okay, mate. Uh, what the hell is this bloody thing here, mate? This is the swag. It's not in case someone gets a smoke, yeah. snake bite and bloody cacks it on us and we get a bloody body back <laughs> <in>. <laughs> hey? Well, we could use it for that. <laughs> you never know, we might need it for that. Oh, so you don't really need a tent for this thing? No, it's good. You can set it up in just a couple of minutes and then pack it up in a couple of minutes. So when's the last time you had one? Oh, it would have been um, three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Must be keen to go, eh? Yeah, I'm keen. I'm keen. Always keen. Well, it's a bit of competition. My first one to get to the peak. Oh, yeah, I think it'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> He's the better hunter, bro. What are you reckon? He's the better hunter than your brother. Do you have to ask? Well, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what he said when he comes over. Oh, he's got nothing to brag about. <laughs> but is this a. Uh, is this a sort of annual thing for you guys? Um, How often would you come up here? Oh, it depends. That, that comes up more than us, you know, and then just shares between the brothers. It's not always the same, you know. Sometimes the younger brother will come up or Jamal, you know, and then I'll come up. Yeah. So it's sort of like an excuse to get away from your five girlfriends. <laughs> I wish, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you're doing, bro? Not really, bro. <laughs> It's like you need an engineering license, <laughs> bloody ticket to put this on. We might have to leave it for those young fellas with the degrees. <laughs> oh. How long did it take you till the, the itch finally got the urge finally got the bed of you and you had to go out and go a hunt? Oh, I was here for about oh good seven years before I started started up. Yeah, never said that. Uh, Uncle Dick always says he always says, "Come on, yeah, let's go." But oh. Couldn't. And then Aaron turned up, right? and then we started. You enjoy, yeah, enjoy yeah, hunting yeah. That, it's a good experience, eh? Hey? I mean, not too many people back home will travel bloody 10 hours, 10, 12 hours just to go for a pig hunt. That's the hardest part. Yeah. The hardest part is travelling here, bro. But it's, um, oh, you know, the adrenaline pump. Mm -hmm, mm. You hear that music and away it goes, bro. Mm. Nothing in the world beats it. <laughs> oh, bro, I can't help you with that, so I'll leave you to it. Okay, bro. Okay, man. <laughs> Nō reira he teneti wā mātou. Engari, ko te tumanako, kua oro au i taku kōpaki mui a rai nekehi. Ah, whakapai nēnei kai e pai hurunga mō mātou tina ko hikurai joki to mātou ariki. Āmen. Āmen. Kia ora. Tēnā, me whāngai te tīnani i te kai me te hinangaro i te moi. Kia pai te aru aru i te tariana nunui. Nā tariana e rua, e toru rā nei. I might just put a little bit on for the camera. Right. Make a make. Kunikia. Kia puta tātou ko matua diki mā. Ko te tua whenu wahi teiria, te tahi o ngā wahi maro ke rau o te au katoa. Nō reira, me roki roki e tō mātou kaha. Mā ngā kuri ngā huarahi e hongi hongi mā rātou mātou i ora ai. Kia o kaha rā kuri mā. He tohu pōaka pēa kei te taho o ngā puna wai. Hmm, kare kau kiko nei. 
he tohupea ana kei koatura. The old boys are up early this morning. Been cruising around these blocks for the last couple of hours and the first bit of fresh sun we've seen. Oh, not all that fresh really. About a day. So it's still trying to find that elusive pig, mate. Why ho ma ngā kuri? Hmm. Kui nei pia te wā pai mō ngā mahi nanakia? Ana. Bit of old sign there? Yeah, there's old sign. But uh, not here, not in the area. Fresh marks around, eh? Oh, a little bit, but not, not really. It's not really good, good sign, what we've seen over here. There's a fresh sign there, ゆるまくてまひふかかた。ま、ワイラカプープワケてふかろけこれろたひまわこまつわちき。かたひ。かろもまたうたうううんがくり。あけねたとファイポアカイ。イエウィ。ワイホマラトテアロファイチ。ま
Well, good morning, Al. Good morning, all right. I actually beat your two young fellas there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what they're there for, mate. You know, I just uh, sit there and just lay away, wait until the things happen, and let them go. Are they good, good, good eating size too, eh? Yeah, oh, this morning we did well. Got our, uh, our three pigs, and uh, the boys are quite happy. So how long can we leave them in the sun before we get a gun before well, they get beat? we've got to get them very soon. Oh, we go beat away. Oh, yeah. You know, to, to warm them, plus the flies. You know, before the, uh, they get into the eel eels. <laughs> oh, we all got one. <laughs> we all got one except the, uh, the one that's over here. <laughs> we must be doing a bit of spotting later on, mate. You're saving your energy then. Oh, get down and give them a bit of a gut and a singe and yep. have a cup of tea. Yeah. Show us. Hi. E te we know my hooky mai ki te nei wahang o hunting Aotearoa, hunting and fishing New Zealand tip of the week. And today we're talking about safety. Now in the old days, the uncle and even the auntie used to dawn themselves in the old green swanee with the thought of trying to hide away, similar to what Adam's wearing behind me. I couldn't see him, mate, but I could hear. Oh, pretty bad. Pretty bad, eh? Pretty bad. Now, uh, tell me something about uh, the animals um, not being able to see, is that right? That's right, Howie. Deer and pigs, deer in particular, they see in, in shades of grey, um, like, like you see in a black and white TV screen. They also pick up ultraviolet light. Now, it's the ultraviolet light that makes the hunter stand out uh, quite brightly. So, on the market, there is a sports wash that we use, um, which eliminates not only the odour of the garment, but also the ultraviolet light. Now, wearing those bright colours, the deer can't see you, but you are visible to other hunters, and it's most important that we are safe from the bush, and we are seen, so we use fluoro colours in particular because they stand out, and you're less likely to be mistaken for an animal. Should we try something else? Certainly, so we could try the uh, fluorescent orange there. Okay, it must be a fluoro colour, and not just any orange, because this stands out. Adam is now wearing Hiver's Blaze Orange, and you can probably see him trying to stalk his way through the bush there. However, to an animal such as a deer or a pig, all they'd see is a grey image which would actually blend in with the rest of the flora in the bush. Isn't that right, Adam? That's correct, Howie. One of the main things too that we must be aware of is that when a hunter is taking out a beast on their back, that the beast is made uh, visible to other hunters and is not mistaken for a live animal. In many cases, the hunter has actually been shot at uh, because he's been mistakenly taken as a live deer. So we need to wrap that animal, uh, whether it be a pig or deer, with a high-vis garment. Uh, it could be a vest, a bit of clothing, to make him stand out. Thanks, mate, and certainly see you, right? That's the way it's supposed to be. In Somalia, too. Yeah. But never mind. Show me. E te whānau, kia tūpato i a koe i te ngahere. Kia ora. E whaiake nei, ka haere au ki te rapu kōrero, o te whenua mai i te tahi o te iwi moi moi a, a jau. A, ka tirohia e tātou tona taraka pai pai rawa atu. Name of the river, mate? Lachlan River. The what? The Lachlan. Yeah, what do you even call it there? Uh, it's just uh, you know, what they call with the Uradjuri tribe. We what, what were you named? Oh, yeah. Pretty fish in there? Um, no, it wouldn't be in at the moment because this bloody river's down too low. <laughs> what else are you getting here? There's bloody freshwater bloody mussels, eh? Yeah, get really good sized mussels here, mate. Really big ones here, yeah. Who actually got you in hunting? Was your father, or was it just something that all you people are, are good at? Um, not really. I mean, my uncle, he, um, I used to follow him around when I was little. And um, yeah, I just started from there. He had a few dogs and chasing kangaroos, and then, and then he got chasing pigs. So that's where I stayed, chasing pigs. And I see one of your um, young grandsons, is it? Yeah, young cousin. Young cousin? Yeah. I mean, you're sort of taking up the mental yeah, role yeah, now and teaching yeah. them how to hunt, don't you? Yeah, I take him with me everywhere I go out in the bush, yeah. And he enjoys it? He does. He gets to drive me yet. Like, he he loves driving, so yeah. And he loves being out in the scrub with me, so yeah. And has he got a better eye than the old um, older cousin in, in terms of...? Yeah, no, no, he's, he's right, mate, yeah. He's a good shot? No, I'm not a good shot. No, no, no you're a young fellow. Yeah, he is. Ka haere tātou ki te tiro tiro haere. Engari, ka ki te huki iau i ngā pakehiwi rarahi o tēnei uri o te iwi moimoia. 
e a hua rite ana ki oku pakehiwi rongonui, engari he hiki hiki taumaha ke pea te mahi ātou. What's this stuff called, bro? It's the stuff here, yeah. lignum. Lignum. It's a shrub. Yeah. And you get the pigs laying underneath like that, see? See how they lay in there? They have the little beds in there. You come out in the evening. Big ones? You come out in the evening. Yeah, yeah. Even though, see? He's laying down himself. <laughs> Ka pau e tahi haora i roto i te wero te rā, ka tahi mātou ka hoki. He wā pai pea tēnei, hei tiro tiro ki te taraka pai pai i rawa atu a jau. Well, you just your, um, for your gun, if you want to shoot roos or pigs, yep. you use that. And the spotlight to find them with. Is that operated by the driver or the passenger? Well, you can do it for as a driver too. Yep. You know, you sit back and do it yourself. Um, you got the dog box. Yep. You put your dogs in. And you got the extra battery for your winch at the back. Okay. And you got the soap there for wash your hands. Yeah, water. And then your water here, yep, 33 litres. And this is what you hang the pigs up on to gut okay. with. And this is what you call the winch here. What's that thing there? The thing here, this is knife box. Put your knives inside it. Shoot them inside there. And then you put them up through here. Him up on the pelvis? Yeah, put him through the pelvis way, feet facing towards the driver way. Yeah. And then you got the heart, liver, and all that hanging there, so it won't get damaged by dust. So, how many you fit on here? How many beasts you fit on this thing? Well, I've had 33 on there. Shit. Yeah. You probably need a big motor then, eh? What's this carry? Well, it's a it's three litre motor. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, it's, it's a turbo, not, non, not a not a original one, but it's a turbo one. Yeah, so she gets all right, about 100 litres fuel. So how many hours would you go out for every night? Or uh, when you win out? Well, if I do go out and, and I'll get on the good pigs, probably about, I don't know, probably 12 hours out chasing pigs. And do you spot them and then shoot them? or? No, uh, uh, dogs. If I get dogs. If i got gun, I'll use the gun. But the majority of the time you use dogs. the dog? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're spotting? Yep. And how do the dogs know? Dogs, they find them themselves, they sniff them out. You can't buy it, aren't you? Ah. Uh, Kariro te kupu whakamutunga, ki a Uncle Dicky. Hey Uncle, what actually brings you back here all the time? Well, it's just mainly to bring my boys here. You know, they go out for a hunt. And not only that, you meet uh, the Tangata Whenua here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is their grounds, eh? Yeah. And, uh, well, part of their culture, you know. Like going back home. So uh, how often would you try and get up here? Not very often, but uh, I'd say, well, three times a year, four times a year. And uh, yeah, that's a better, uh, but I, I go elsewhere. Yeah. You know, spread out all uh, all over the place. But I like it here. You know, it's quite uh, scenery and all that. Beautiful. Reminds me of home sometimes because you know the the river and that. Apart from the snakes and the guanas and the spiders. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Don't worry about that lot. <laughs> I mean, you know, people back home when they see a river, first thing they do, dive in the bloody thing. <laughs> well, not this one, mate. <laughs> What about you, Hip? Oh, it's a bit of um, getting away back to reality again, you know, yeah. from Sydney. Um, Sydney? Yeah. You know, uh, the past life in Sydney doesn't suit us, eh? It sort of gets to you mentally, so it brings us back to reality, you know, just to get away and do a bit of what we used to do back home, bring back sort of a few memories of what you did back home, you know, and try and make the most of it out here. What about the comparison to the um, pigs you get over here now? They're much bigger than the ones we get back home? Well, I, I, I think so. I, I've seen, the biggest pig I've seen is here. Throughout um, Australia, you know, we were, we did a videotape on on our thing. Uh, Your hunt? Yeah, on our hunt, you know, and um, there's a few scenes of, of our hunt on this, uh, on this big pig and it shows the size of the, compared to the size of our dogs, you know. They look like earrings when they were holding them. <laughs> you know, the tongue of the whenua really helped us out. Hey, Hip. Hi. You know, it told him a puaka, oh, ketupai. 
Hey, Davey, that's our hunt for this week. Hunting in Aussie with the whanau and the tangata whenua. Nothing changes if you're hunting with your own. And that's hunting Aotearoa in the outback for this week. Ka kite! Hono mai ano Aotearoa wiki ki te whakatai tai Big 3 ki tūrangi. Ha, ka tai mai hoki taku tūmau tunu kai ai. <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't. Sorry. I might do that, eh, bro? I might do that, eh? Hey? I might do that, bro? Then I'll get a bit more to the left. A bit more to the left. <laughs> yeah, Dewey, that's our hunt for this week. Hunting in Aussie, but nothing changes if you're hunting with your Māori, your whānau, your Māori. <laughs> Yeah.